Good evening and welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to talk about annihilation. In my previous video I spoke about um, pair production, now I'm going to talk about when a particle and an antiparticle meet. So, when a particle and an antiparticle meet, they annihilate each other. Now, it's important to notice um, about what will happen after this. So, pair production is when a photon makes a particle and an antiparticle. Annihilation is when a particle and an antiparticle annihilate each other and make two photons, as this diagram describes here. So I have an electron and its positron, so a particle here and an antiparticle, and they're being flung together both with one mega electron volts worth of energy. I want to find out what frequency and therefore wavelength these photons would be. And remember, the energy of a photon is E equals HF. Okay. Now it's important to note that the photons that would be released would be the same. So the photons that would be released in both directions would be the same. And they're being released perpendicular to conserve momentum. So let's actually find out how much energy in that I have before we work out how much photo, uh, the energy the photons have. So I know the rest mass of an electron, and therefore the rest mass of a positron, is 0 0.51, 0 0.9999 mega electron volts here. Okay, and that is found on your data sheet. I have got two of these. And that equals, so 0 0.510999 times 2. 1.02199 mega electron volts worth of energy. These two particles also have kinetic energy, and that totals 2 mega electron volts. So I need to add that on as my total energy into the system, which brings me to 3.021998 mega electron volts. Of energy. Before I can even work out the photons, I need to convert this into joules. So, 3.021998 times 10 to the 6, that gets me into electron volts, and then I charge times by the charge on an electron. So, I have an energy of 4.84 times 10 to the minus 13 joules, and this is the total amount of energy. This will be split between two photons. So each photon has half the energy in. So divide that by 2, and I have... 2.42 times 10 to the minus 13 joules. I can then use this formula here to work out the frequency of the photon emitted. So, 2.42 times 10 to the minus 13 equals 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34. That's Planck's constant times by the frequency. So this one divided by this one would get me my frequency. 63 times 10 to the minus 34. My frequency would be 3.65 times 10 to the 20 hertz. So this here is my frequency. I can then use C equals F lambda, where C is the speed of light, to work out the wavelength. So 3 times 10 to the 8 over 3.65 times 10 to the 20. Is 8.2 times 10 to the minus 13 meters. Okay, so 
This is annihilation, the process where a particle and an antiparticle meet and two photons are emitted perpendicular here with half the total amount of energy went in. Now it's important to note I've had both of these moving to collide. You might have a particle that's not moving but it's important to know in total how much energy you have. You have the energy of the mass plus whatever kinetic energy it had and that's your total energy here. You just convert that into joules before you do anything with frequency and you can work out the frequency and the wavelength of the individual particles there. That is annihilation.